programa de hoje, nós vamos conhecer mais mulheres que trabalham aqui e que podem nos explicar ainda mais sobre como o mundo feminino está transformando o Vale do Silício. E, claro, contribuindo muito para o panorama da inovação na Califórnia e, por extensão, no mundo. A Plug and Play é uma empresa que conecta as melhores startups de tecnologia com as maiores corporações do mundo. E ninguém melhor que uma mulher para explicar como tudo funciona. Plug and Play today is the largest global technology accelerator. We have a very, very interesting history. We got our start back in the 90s with our founder and CEO. His name is Saeed Amidi. He's a very, very traditional Iranian businessman. During the Iranian Revolution, Saeed and his family moved to the States and it was his duty to rebuild his family's wealth because most of their assets were frozen in Iran during the revolution. So Saeed moved his family here and what he did, the first thing he did to start to rebuild his, his wealth, his portfolio was he purchased real estate, primarily in downtown Palo Alto on University Avenue, which that in itself, if you're looking at it today, that in itself is a genius investment, even before startup. <laughs> so Saeed moved to the Valley, started purchasing real estate, One of the businesses that he opened, which is still standing today, is a Persian rug gallery. It's called Medallion Rug. So if you go to downtown Palo Alto, it's close to the Apple store, it's called Medallion Rug. Next to the rug gallery, Saeed had another building that was empty. And this was around the time where startups were coming out of their garages looking for a co-working space. So he had these startups knocking on his door, coming over to the rug gallery, asking if he was leasing office space. Because their teams were growing, they were looking for space. So Saeed started leasing office space. And this is what he became known for. This is kind of how plug and play came to be. Because of the success of Saeed's tenants. So the founders of Google, Google grew from three to 50 employees inside of Saeed's building in wow. downtown Palo Alto. <laughs> yeah, they don't always mention that in their, in their story, but that's okay. Um, the next company, this is a funny story. So the founders of PayPal approached Saeed wanting to lease office space. At the time they had terrible credit, but they, had, they, weren't, they weren't a credit worthy company at the time, but they, they had some cash. So Saeed's talking to these guys. He's like, I, I don't know about these guys. I don't think they're going to honor their rent agreement. So he asked for two years of upfront rent payment. Saeed is a very, very avid golfer. And it just so happens that all of his golf buddies are VCs, venture capitalists on Sand Hill Road, right? It gets better. So as Saeed's playing rounds of golf with his VC buddies back in the day, they're telling him about all the success they're having with investing in entrepreneurs. And they quickly realize that he had amazing talent right underneath his nose. He was the landlord to these companies that were eventually going to be valued at billions and billions of dollars. So they're like, Saeed, why, why the hell are you selling rugs? You got to start investing in startups. That's where the money is. And Saeed's like, I I don't know how to do that. What do I do? What's a term sheet? Like what's, what's IOT? What's, what is this? What's software as a service? I, I don't know how to do that. So his VC friends, they're encouraging him. They're like, hey, see if you can invest in some of the companies in your building and some of your tenants, we will help you along the way. We'll coach you. We'll show you how to identify those good opportunities and we'll be there to hold your hand with your first few investments. So that's what he did. After that game, he turned around, went back to the co-working space, and he knocked on PayPal's cubicle. He wanted to see if he could invest, and they agreed. They agreed to let him invest. Not, not purely for the money, because why, why would you let some Persian rug dealer invest in your company? That's not smart money. But they saw that Saeed had an incredible network of investors. So they're like, okay, we'll let this guy invest and he can connect us to these tier one VCs. So 
They agreed to let him invest and he ended up returning those two years of upfront rent payment in the form of investment. Said invested the first 100,000 into PayPal. Not bad for first investment, I would say. Now, fast forward to 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay. Um, and at that point, I'm pretty sure Said looked at his bank account and thought, holy shit, how do I do this again? So he thought, what if I buy a bigger building? How much was that? Uh, the return was very, very good. You can, you can very, very good. Like uh, I think it was about 35X return. That's, that's just our first investment. Wow. We, that's our first unicorn. So after the success of PayPal, Saeed thought, what if, what if I buy a bigger building and fill it up with more startups and create this ecosystem where we have startups working in the same area. We have VCs coming in to meet the companies. We build, we build an ecosystem, a platform around this. Maybe I'll get more PayPal's and Google's and Logitech's companies like that. So that's just what he did. In 2006, he purchased this building, our headquarters where we are right now. Um, at the time, this building was an abandoned Philips semiconductor building. He filled it up with startups, started hosting events, uh, made a few investments, invited his VC friends along to come and look at some of the entrepreneurs here. And that is when we officially became Plug and Play Tech Center in 2006. But today, instead of just offering office space, we have a whole host of services that we offer to entrepreneurs from all over the world to help accelerate their growth. Um, on the most basic level, it's logistical support. This building is around 180,000 square feet. I think that's over 17,000 square meters. Right now, we have 422 startups that have office space here. Wow. 422 companies. So it's a lucky guy, right? Very lucky. <laughs> very, very lucky. <laughs> Sometimes it's called plug and pray. Um, <laughs> so we've got 422 startups in the building. Aside from that, we have around 55 large corporations that have their innovation scouts here, which is great for startups. They're all they all want to do business development. It's easy. It's, you come to Plug and Play at Silicon Valley in a box. You have everything you need here to really succeed. Come here, you have your office space. We have, we host over 700 events every year. Wow. And that's great for startups. You don't have to go very far to join an event. Chances are you'll meet a VC. That could be your next investor. You might meet a large corporation that could become your first customer. Or you might meet a mentor that could help mentor you along the way. So we love hosting events here. Um, we have a great pool of mentors to help our startups. We have an ecosystem of executives and residents. These are ex-C-level executives who have retired from the boring corporate life and they've come to Plug and Play to give back to the startup community in the form of mentorship. Um, what else? Of course, we invest. Plug and Play invests in over 200 companies every year. 200. Over 200 companies every year. Last year, we did 262 investments. We're not writing multi-million dollar checks, though. Um, usually 25,000 up to half a million. Sweet spot, $100,000, $150,000 range. And since we're not writing these multi-million dollar checks, we co-invest. We work with around 200 of the top VCs in Silicon Valley who are coming here on a daily basis to sit in deal review sessions and look at our startups and maybe co-invest with us. Uh, many of those VCs are still Saeed's golf buddies. Um, so we're an active investor. But the last piece of the puzzle really comes with the corporate side, so corporate innovation. That's what Plug and Play is really, really good at, is matching large corporations who have pain points in their different business units, problems they're trying to solve. Plug and Play is good at matching those large corporations with talented startups, startups who are, who are disrupting industries. 
We bring those startups and those corporates together to help each other solve problems. So that's what Plug and Play is really good at. Um, right now, the way we work with corporates is currently Plug and Play runs about 12, 13 vertically themed programs or corporate innovation platforms. We, it's, a, it's kind of a fancy word for accelerator program, but we don't like to use that term because Plug and Play operates a little bit differently than other accelerators in that if a startup is accepted into one of our programs, we don't take any equity. The cost for the startup is nothing. It's completely free. No pressure. We don't take a piece of your company. What is it like working in Silicon Valley as a female? It's... It's different today than it used to be. Um, today, it's it can be difficult, but you have to be innovative. You have to find ways to work around that and stand your ground. As a female, one of the things that I appreciate so much about being at Plug and Play is that here, Plug and Play is really the great equalizer. It's a great equalizer. People come here to collaborate. It doesn't matter what color you are, what gender you are, what beliefs you have. Everybody comes here to collaborate. It is difficult to be a woman in Silicon Valley in general because it is, I hate to say it, it is a boys club, but it's, it's our time, it's our job to work together, men and women alike, to sort of break that, to break that glass ceiling and really to see each other as equals. Os programas de crescimento da empresa também são impressionantes. So, aside from the 12, 13 vertically themed corporate innovation programs that we run, we have what we, what I personally feel is the most exciting and enriching program, Plug and Play for international entrepreneurs. It's a three-month soft landing program made for international entrepreneurs. Where in this program, instead of working with large corporations, we're working with government, public sector, um, government agencies, trade and economic development organizations, incubators, accelerators at universities in these different countries. And together with our public sector partners, we are finding, we're, we're sourcing and identifying those talented entrepreneurs that live in these different corners of the world and we're bringing those companies here to plug and play to participate in a three-month program and really accelerate their growth in Silicon Valley. They come here, they have a soft landing as, as an entrepreneur, an international entrepreneur coming to Silicon Valley, it's, it can be kind of scary. Where do you go? Where where do you live? Where, where do you work? How do you meet? VCs, how do you how do you get a mentor? How do you how do you refine your pitch so that a VC is even going to look at you or take a second look at your your pitch deck? So that's why we have this program here is to bring those entrepreneurs to Silicon Valley and give them all the resources that they need to get their first customers in the U.S. or to come here and benchmark against other U.S. companies and figure out this is even a market for them. So we have the international program. I kid you not, it's the best program at Plug and Play. A participação e a contribuição dos brasileiros não passa despercebida por aqui. Nem poderia. How many Brazilians right now? We have we have three Brazilians. One of them is an alumni Back for App. I'm going to plug you right now. Um, Back for App went through our program last year, and we currently have two Brazilian companies. One is called Go Good, and the other is called Be Time. And these companies are actually portfolio companies of ours, so we've invested in them through our partnership with Porto Seguro down in Brazil. So, as sort of the second leg of their accelerator program in Brazil, they've now come to Plug and Play, and they'll. They'll be with me for three months where we'll help them get their first U.S. customers.